Today we are looking at NOV mode, which is a mode that allows you to view EPUB files from within Emacs and have all the full power of Emacs to utilize at your disposal. So I've opened an EPUB file called Test EPUB, which contains Plato's complete works. Now what I want to do in this video is go through the basic navigational commands of NOV mode and then we're going to look at the package that I have created called NOV Highlights which allows you to create highlights and annotations within EPUB similar to the kind of highlights and annotations that you can create in PDFs with PDF tools. So let's begin by looking at the main navigation commands from within NOV mode. This is a mode that doesn't come by default so you'll have to install it. Right square bracket takes you to the next document or chapter. Left square bracket to the previous document or chapter. T takes you to the table of contents and the easiest way to navigate this is to hit the tab key which will cycle through the various links going forward and shift tab going backwards. L goes back in history, R goes forward in history. And then if you want to view a particular section of your document, let's say we want to begin to read through the symposium, we would read and then to get to the next section we would hit space and to go to the previous section again it would be shift space. Home will take you to the beginning of the buffer and end will take you to the end of the buffer. So those are the main navigation commands within EPUB and then of course you've got all your regular Emacs navigation commands because you're dealing with text in the buffer. Now the one thing that the NOV package doesn't bring is the ability to highlight or annotate the notes that you are reading. So there are a couple of packages out there that do this but they're not dedicated packages and they don't work as well as I would like. So I decided to create my own package called NOV Highlights which gives me the basic functionality that I need. Okay let's get to the highlighting commands and the annotation commands. So you've got your main highlight which is bound to H. You've also got a green highlight bound to G. And underline highlight bound to U. And then you have an annotation highlight which allows you to create a note. This would be my very first note. And you capture annotations by invoking Control C, Control C, or to abandon Control C, Control K. Now, Alt R will remove the highlight and the annotation. You've also got Strike Through. And you can also create a note on a strike through explaining your reasons for the strike through. You can export your annotations to org mode by invoking E. Open the exported file. Let's click yes. And there we have our annotations. We can also view our annotations in a list. And you've got Alt P to go to the previous annotation and Alt N to go to the next annotation. And you can delete annotations in mass by selecting the region and invoking Shift D. And then there are also zoom commands, Control Plus, Control Minus, or Control Zero to standardize the zoom. So as you can see it's a very helpful little package because it allows you to make your annotations and make your highlights in 
your EPUB document much the same way as you can do in PDF tools. That's all for today, folks. Take care now.